A good guy with a gun stopped a bad guy with a gun during a church shooting at West Freeway Church of Christ in White Settlement, Texas. And in response, the anti-gun left is bashing the good guys with guns. Because it wasn't only Jack Wilson, the hero who killed the killer, who drew his concealed carry firearm. It was at least six others in the church who did the same thing to protect the congregation. And when the anti-gun left shows us their true colors, it ain't pretty. An op-ed writer named Elvia Diaz wrote in USA Today, and I quote, Jack Wilson is exactly the type of person you want around with a gun because he's a firearms instructor, but we know nothing about the at least six other parishioners who also appeared to draw their handguns, and that's terrifying, end quote. We know nothing about these six other parishioners who drew their concealed firearms? I beg to differ. This is what we know about those six parishioners who drew their handguns. Six law-abiding gun owners did not shoot anybody innocent. They did not panic fire in the face of a threat to their lives. In fact, they did not fire their weapons at all because or until they knew their target. Those six law-abiding gun owners were prepared to defend themselves and defend their fellow parishioners from massacre and certain death. Those six law-abiding gun owners were prepared to give their lives for others, and one of them did give his life. Is anybody on the anti-gun left actually suggesting that those six law-abiding gun owners had never carried a weapon before? That they were newbies to conceal carry? Just because you haven't seen their weapon before doesn't mean it was the first time they fired it or didn't fire the weapon. We also know about those six law-abiding gun owners that none had ever hurt anybody or else they wouldn't be able to secure their concealed carry permit. If you ask me, that's an awful lot. We do know about these six people and an awful lot to be thankful for. Let's remember a deranged man opened fire in a Christian church killing two innocent people. Jack Wilson, a former FBI agent, who's now the volunteer head of security for the West Freeway Church of Christ, fired one shot from his concealed carry handgun from 50 feet away and killed the shooter saving countless other lives, thanks to Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott, who signed a law this past summer that allowed law-abiding concealed carry permit holders to carry in places of worship. Because of that law, Wilson and yes, the six other law-abiding American citizens and gun owners were there to defend the lives of 270 innocent people, proving once again that the best defense against a bad guy with a gun is a bunch of good guys with guns. But of course, the Democrats want to take that right to defend ourselves away from us.